it's me Joseph George from Lowell IT Solutions. I hope you all are doing good today. In this session, we are introducing you SAPCA VAT return summary that has been developed from the house of Lowell IT Solutions. In this app, you can find the reports consisting of data that is related to VAT. The report gives you a detailed tax grid-wide summary on sales and purchases. We need four steps for its completion, that is its installation, configuration, working and reporting. For in the installation part, let's dive into our Odoo app that's over here and let me go into that and you can see that in the search bar you can search like KZ VAT return summary and when searched you can see the app like this, the KZ VAT return summary by Loyal IT Solutions and you can install it from here to your Odo ERP and the next step we need to dive into our after the installation we need to dive into our Odo and we need to move into our apps and we can search it by VAT and just put enter and we can see that the KSA VAT report has been already installed and it takes around one to two minutes time for its uh, installation and uh, this app will work with the versions of Odo in the community version of 14 and 15 as well as with the enterprise version by Odo that is of 14 and 15 and with the latest version of Odo 16 too. Okay. So let's move back towards our accounting module and towards the configuration. In the accounting, let's go towards our account tax and let's filter it by created on and between the dates of today and let me apply it. And here you can see that the total number of 26 grids has been updated towards my Odo accounting module in default by the installation of my SATCA VAT report summary. And these are my tax grids. Okay. And in the next step, let's move back towards the configuration again. And we are going towards the accounting and in the taxes. Once we are entering into the taxes, we can see the tax labs over here. These tax labs have been set by Odo in default by the configuration of our physical localization by entering the country, the Saudi, and these have been set by Odo in default. Okay, so the next step, what we need to do is we need to assign our tax grids towards our tax labs. For that, let's open our tax lab over here in the sales tax of 15 percentage. And once opening it up, the view will be like this. And uh, let me let me show you the configuration how to be done. Okay, fine. In this tax grid you need to assign the tax grid that has been that has been automatically configured by the installation of SATCA VAT report summary and you need to call the tax grids over here manually so let me type it let me type the standard and yeah, I can see the standard rated sales in positive and let me choose that and here I need to assign the same one that is towards the VAT. Let me assign the same D and let me search in more. And here uh, I can't see that over there in listed, so let me search it. And you can see that over here in the standard rated sales tax and positive. And let me choose that. And here that is regarding for my credit notes. And let me type the same standard and I need to search more again and 
expected that is towards my refund so i need a negative value over there and it's a negative and that's related towards my vat let me search the same let me search for more and let me go back yep and that has been done so all the configurations has been done in manual and let me save it okay let me go back again towards the taxes and you can see that for the local sales also i have done the configuration over here you can see it okay and if i'm going back towards my export sales also i can see the configurations over here and the same configurations has been done towards my except sales tax too okay and i'm going back the same has been done for my purchases too let me open it up and yep i it has been done for detailed more configurations related towards each tax lab you can go back again towards your uh, odo app and where you have purchased the module from loyal it solutions and just scroll down let me scroll it up okay you can see the configuration starting yep yeah. from here you can see the configuration starting and just go through the configurations and you can assign it by yourself it's not a it's not a mountain task for you you can easily do it by yourself okay so it can be done from your end too and let me go back towards my odo okay so once these configurations have done we can see in the reporting and let's go to the vat report over here and these dates must be on quarterly basis for an example i'm choose the rates as if the same and let me print it yep i'm opening my report and you can see my date for the report period my company name and my reporting period too and the fields will be empty because i have not entered any data into my odo erp so let me close it and let me guide back to you and for that let's go towards our customers and let's open the invoices i drafted some invoices over here and i'll show how the explanation and how the workings are going on and the detailed report so let's go into it i'm opening an invoice in the customer name of apple and the invoice date has been mentioned and the product has been assigned the account has been assigned and here you can see the tax lab like local sales if i'm closing this you can see that if i'm just keeping my cursor over here i can see the slabs over here from this i have assigned the tax lab like local sales okay clear and let me confirm this up and let me go back so in the next invoice for life is good the customer name the tax lab was on exempt sales tax of 0 percentage and let me confirm this up and i'm going back towards my next invoice that was in the name of tesla and that was on the date of december 3rd and again the product has been assigned and here this tax lab is export sales of 0 percentage and let me confirm it up let me go back towards my invoices again and let me open my customer name called abc and this invoice is in the tax lab of sales tax 15 percentage okay oh so let me confirm it up and that's done and let me show an example with the credit notes too so here i have a credit note for my customer abc that has been prepared on the date of again on the same date of December 3rd and here the product has been assigned and the sales tax has been assigned towards the sales tax of 15 percentage okay and let me confirm the same okay done and the same i have done with my vendors under the bills too uh, let me open and show my examples for you on that same it is in the vendor name of jostens and the bill date is again on the December 3rd and this was on purchases of 0 percentage 
let me confirm it up and going back towards my bills again and this is the bill in the name of Tarang and the date is on again the same date of December 3rd and this one is of XM purchase lab okay let me confirm this and let me go back towards my bills this bill is for my vendor Coco and the bill is on date of 3rd of December and this one is for my import tax lab of 15 percentage and let me confirm let me go back again and this bill is on the date of December 3rd for my vendor Durbles and Chair Suits and this product has been assigned towards my product tax lab of purchase tax of 15 percentage and let me confirm it up and let me go back towards my bills and here you can see that has been posted and how the functioning is going to happen let's see how it's going to function and let's go back towards our reporting again and let's open the VAT report from here and let's enter the date like this itself and let me print it once opening this you can see that the total transactions has been entered according towards our tax grid that has been created and it, it, it looks really good and this is a perfect look for us and this has been defined towards the submission for Satka in their opinion and in their perspective and this report good look and let's let's see one more example is there and let me show that one too for that i'm going to the configuration and in the settings and let me enter vat over here and let me scroll down and you can see the vat report over here and i had mentioned a vat report previous date that means that this date means that this was my closing previous vat date and how i need to affect my invoices those has been ended prior to that date and how it's going to be affected in my report so i'll show that how it's going to be functioned from here let me save this up okay and let's go back towards our customers and towards my invoices over here again and let me scroll down and i have an invoice on 30th of september let me open this up okay and I'm showing you how it's going to happen and in the journal items if I'm opening the journal items only one slab is being updated only the default tax lab of Odo is only updated over here and the same for the VAT also it's only updated our configured slab is not updated so let's go back uh, towards the vendor again and sh I'll show an example in my vendor build too this is my previous vendor bill on date of September 30th and the same has happened the Odo's default slabs are only there the configured slabs are not shown in my invoice so let me go back again um, towards my reporting how this impact will happen let me update my tax grid okay, for the date of let that be from 1st of September to, to 30th of November and let me put my company need to and let me update it and we can just go back again towards our vendors bills and now let's open it up and go back into our journals and you can see that the tax slab has been updated with our configured uh, with our configured slabs too okay. you can see that you can see over here if I'm clicking over here you can see that okay let me close it and let me show with the reporting part too let me go back towards the VAT report again and let me pull it for in the month of September 1st till 
of uh, to rehab first and let me put my company name again and let me print and we can see that the taxes has been updated over here too okay so in this process we can update our previous transactions too okay i hope this much is clear for you and again in the reporting you can see that there are two more functions are there detailed vat on purchase report and detailed vat on sales report how these is been explained means that it is the segregated view of shatka vat report that based on our invoice date the invoice number the customer name the vat number the taxable amount the total taxable amount and the total amount so this report helps me to give you or it helps me as well as you to collect a detailed report on the same let let's see how it's going to work let me print and you can see yep you can see that on dated with the bill number with the vendor name with the vendor details and all these has been updated and the total also also there so both the reports has both views and this one gives me a a segregated view and my vat report gives me a a consolidated view okay i hope this much information has been clear for you and this report has been built up towards with the perspective of satka vat report i hope you are clear with my installation the configuration the working and the reporting and i wish to see you all in my next video till that i wish you all a good day thank you